welcome back to my channel i'm back finally because this past week <sighs> i've been i've been feeling so 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 tired due to the pregnancy but yeah if you guys haven't seen that video or when i announced it yes i'm pregnant finally it took forever well for me it took forever but yeah we're expecting and we have an appointment this friday just to check if everything's going good with the baby since I was having some pain. I've just been feeling so anxious lately so and nervous, but that's gonna be on a whole different video, my pregnancy update, which I might be doing next week since I'm having that appointment this Friday. So I just wanna get more information and how far along I am before I do my first pregnancy update. So please keep a lookout for that one. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll let you guys know when I upload that video or any other new future videos that I will be posting but yeah today I decided to do a soft smoky eye I did it yesterday but with a wing liner and I loved how it came out but I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner today or maybe you know what I am gonna do the wing liner today because it came out really nice yesterday I was supposed to film yesterday but my husband just said let's go to the OB the triage and just just to make sure everything's okay so we went to go do that first, so I didn't have time to film. That's why I'm doing it today. It's going to be very easy. This is going to be a talk through, chit chat, get ready with me. I hope you guys don't mind that. I don't know if you guys love the chit chat way more than the whole fast beating through the get ready with me. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of chit chats. I feel like I don't explain shit right. Like my makeup, how I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not good at that stuff. I just love doing makeup and I just do it. I'm, I'm more like a visual learner than just like reading or hearing someone. I'm just, I'd rather just look at it and then I can do it. I don't know. That's just me. So lately I've been breaking out so much. I'm trying not to like pick at them, but I do have a lot of scarring still from the time I was on birth control and I was breaking out like crazy. Okay, you guys can't see my scars because I already concealed and primed my face just so it could just be a little bit faster and also because I don't want you guys to see my scars right now because it's pretty bad. I'm trying everything right now and nothing's working. I'm trying this soap out, which I think that's kind of working. So let me just try it out for a longer time and see if it helps. And if it does, I'll put up a skincare routine or skincare update. Yeah, I'm just trying my best to take care of my skin, but it's just so hard because I have acne prone skin. So my girls, if you, if you guys have <laughs> acne prone skin then you know my struggle the primer i use to prime my face is the wet n wild cover all primer which is this one right here i'm still trying this out so i don't know if i like it it's just i just feel like it's just a basic primer it's not breaking me out so that's good because i have sensitive skin i already did my brows i use the nyx tame and frame tinted brow pomade this one that's all i used and then i used the um the insta age worn concealer just to clean up under my brows and that's pretty much it Okay, now I'm using the same concealer I did to clean up my brows, the Insta Age Rewind, to just prime my eyes. Okay, the palette I will be using is my go-to palette, what's new, the Violet Voss um, Laura Lee palette. And the two colors that I'll be using today is the Mama Bird and Fried color. And that's it. What well, you know what? I lied. I think three colors and that's it. Then a little bit of Mama Bird and Britches, just for that transi transitioning shade. And then Fried. Okay, but to set that concealer, I do go in with the basic color. Just to lock in that concealer in place so it won't move around. I'm gonna I'm go in with a little bit of Britches. Okay, so I'm gonna just put that in my crease. All of my crease, just blend it out nicely just take your time on this so the brush that i was using i forgot to mention is a sedona lace um 863 brush it's just a blending brush but i'm gonna go in with another brush for the mama bird shade Okay, I'm going in with the Morphe brush, the M441. It's another blending brush. Going in with that Mama Bird shade. And then going in in my crease once again. Okay, 
so I'm using the Kylie brush this does not have a name or number on it I wouldn't be able to tell you what brush it is but just by the looks of it it's like a blending brush but it's more flat and narrow on the top and now I'm going with the fried shade and put that all over my lid Okay, now I'm going with that Morphe brush, the, the M441. I'm going to use Mama Bird and then blend out on the crease again. And going back with the other brush, applying fried. So the eyes are done. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Okay, now I'm going with some lashes. These are the Coco Lashes, the Soho ones. These are my first time trying these out, so hopefully they fit good on me because I know these are not for everyone, but let's just see. If not, I'm going to just switch them out and try some other ones, but let's see how these look first. All right, I put them on. I don't know if I like them, to be honest. I've seen other girls wear these, and they look beautiful on them, like gorgeous, and I don't think it just fits my eye shape or the space on my lids, like I just feel like they're a little too dramatic. Okay, so I think these lashes are way better. These are the Coco Lashes Queen Bees, if you guys were wondering. Okay, now off to foundation. I already primed my face, concealed everything. I already told you guys in the beginning. So now I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This one's in shade W4. And then I'm going to use the Matte and Poreless um, Foundation in 228. Okay, I also wanted to know, like, mothers out there or mothers-to-be, if you guys know, I don't know. Before I got pregnant, <laughs> I was planning on getting braces, like, um, around, like, next month or, like, in two months. And this happened. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you could get braces when you're pregnant. But I have my wisdom teeth coming out or two of them are already out. And the pain, like, comes and goes. So I feel like they will tell me that I need to take them out first before getting braces. And I know sometimes they put you under just because it's surgery. I know that's not good for the baby at all. So if you guys know, please let your girl know if I could get braces before um, before getting my wisdom teeth out. Because I could just wait to get those out maybe after this pregnancy. Because I don't want to affect the baby in any way. Let me know because I really, I was really looking forward to getting braces, you guys. Because my teeth are shifting even more because of my wisdom teeth. And it's like fucking up the way I talk and say things. And it's just annoying, you guys. And because it's one of my insecurities. So just, oh, I really want braces. I won't mind braces, showing my braces. I don't care about that because that's how desperate I am in getting braces. It's just so tough on me. Like, it's crazy. I don't know. Just let me know. Okay, so going on with concealer, I'm using the Insta Age Rewind, like always. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight under my eyes and conceal at the same time. Bronzer, you guys already know what bronzer I'm going to use, guess. Yep, Sonia Kasha Cream Bronzer. It just sucks because I love makeup, but I just hate the prices. Like, I want to buy so much makeup, but the prices just really stops me from doing it. I hate spending so much on makeup. I hate it. That's why you guys see me mostly use um, drugstore. Because I'm a big fan of drugstore makeup. I love this bronzer, but I realized that it just it runs out very, very fast. So I don't think I'm going to be buying it. It's my all-time favorite, but it's just, it goes out pretty quickly. Or maybe because I use it every day, but 
So for powder, I am using the RCMA No Color Powder, like always. Now I'm going to just take it off with the Real Techniques setting brush. I don't want to put powder all over my face because I will go in with bronzer. I don't want my face to look cakey because it's been dry lately, believe it or not, because I'm oily. But I've been dry and just patchy and that's why my makeup never comes out good anymore this past like two weeks. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in bronze, this one right here. And then I'm going to go in with the Luxie brush, the 522 Tapered Highlighter. I love this brush. I love it so much. I'm gonna contour a little bit. Well, not contour, but just, you know, bronze the face a bit. Oh, I've been loving this blush, you guys. And it's from Wet n Wild, okay? It's affordable. I think it was like $3. I don't know if they changed the formula because I think I used one from theirs before when they had like the old packaging. Uh, but this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. This one's in Mellow Wine 328B. Looks like this. I love this color. It's so gorgeous. Oh my god. It's like a nude pink. It's just a perfect blush, like for an everyday blush. Okay, I will apply a little bit of this with the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. Now I'm going to just blend it out with any brush. This is a stippling brush. It's the Laura Geller um, Illuminator in Gilded Honey. I love this highlighter, you guys. This is my all-time favorite. You see how it's like patchy though? That's my skin. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, just highlighting my nose, forehead a little bit, cubic bow. If I had Fix Plus, I would have sprayed that right now. I just ran out. I think I have a little bit. I have a little bit and it's not going to come out right. So let me just spray it on my sponge. Because I want the highlight not be so patchy. Okay, now for under the eyes. I'm going with that same eyeshadow color that we used on the lid. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long. Okay, so back to this palette. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. Let me see if I can find that. I'm going with the pencil brush, and I'm gonna use that shade Fried that we use on our lids. And that's gonna go all over under the lash line. So with a more defined brush. Um, I'm gonna go in with that same color and I'm gonna apply it on my lash line uh, so you won't see like that skin tone peeking through. Okay, so now for my lower lashes, I will be going in with the <sighs> Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I love this mascara for my lower lashes. It's just the right small brush for your small lashes <laughs> I will be doing a nude lip so I'll be using the MAC lipstick in Naturally Transformed I love this lipstick you guys I think I need to go out and buy another one because it's running out and then I will be using a lip liner this is just a random lip liner that I got. Um, it's a LA Girl lip liner in the color Spice. It's a little bit darker, which I like because it's going to give that full effect. So yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Well, not so much chit chat because I didn't do a lot of chit chatting in the video but just say talk through get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this look this video it feels good to be back finally 
But if I don't post videos here and there, then it's because I'm not feeling good or I'm just too tired to even get up and start filming. But I will be doing a pregnancy update very, very soon. Um, I'm excited for our appointment on Friday. We get to see our baby for the first time ever. Thank you once again just to be a part of this family and just going through this wonderful journey that we're about to take. I just wanna let you guys know that every comment I see, which is all of them, um, I do appreciate it and it just makes me so happy to see how much you guys support me and love me and love my videos. It's just crazy to me. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Where's my sponge?